All right, so we're looking at module four, topic D. And topic D is fraction expressions and word problems. So there's only three lessons in here. So instead of doing each individual lesson's word problems, or excuse me, problem sets, what we want to do is just review the exit tickets for each one of these lessons. And we're going to go ahead and say that if you follow these steps and practice, we can guarantee that your uh, skills will improve. Guaranteed improvements. All right, so looking at lesson 10 here, it says rewrite these expressions using words. So expressions, they're not asking us to solve. They just want us to rewrite these as uh, word problems. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And it says 3 over 4 times open parentheses 2 and 2 fifths minus 5 6 close parentheses. So we know that if we're rewriting this, we want to we know that we have to do what's inside of the parentheses first if we were solving this. So we want to say three fourths of the difference between two and two fifths and five six. So we have to take that difference first. So we're saying it's going to be worried three fourths of Between two two fifths and five six. So we know that we're going to take the difference between those two and then multiply it by three fourths. All right, let's take a look at B here. B says two and one fourth plus eight thirds. So that's simple. We're going to say we know it's addition. So it's going to be the sum of, we're just going to have our numbers, 2 and 1 fourth and 8 thirds. If you wanted to get fancy, we could change 8 thirds and we can make that 3 thirds plus 3 thirds equals 6 thirds, 2, and then we would have two-thirds left, all right? So you could rewrite those numbers as that as well. So if you wanted to sub out, you could sub out the eight-thirds and put in two and two-thirds. Because remember, eight-thirds would be equal to two holes and two-thirds. All right, the next problem here, it says write an expression and then Solve. So we do have to solve this. They want us to go from words to the number form of the expression. So it says 3 less than 1 fourth of the product of 8 thirds and 9. 3 less than. So that means I have to take 3 away from whatever this is right here. 1 fourth of means times multiplication right there. The product means I'm going to have another multiplication problem between these two numbers. All right? So, I know that I'm going to have 3 less than. I'm taking that away once I'm done. So that's going to come away from everything. I know I'm going to have a product here. And then I'm going to multiply that by 1 fourth. Okay? So, 3 less than is where I'm taking my 3 away from everything once I'm done. And then I have 1 fourth of the product of 8 thirds and 9. Now, you say, well, that's and. How do you know? It's, but this gives it away. The word, the product, tells me that I'm going to be multiplying. And 1 fourth of also tells me that I'm going to be multiplying. So I have 1 fourth. Multiplication of the product of these two numbers, 8 thirds and 9. And then I'm going to take away 3 from all of that. So, following my order of operations, remember, we do have to solve this. I would have to say, let's go ahead and shrink this down real fast. First thing I'm going to do is my, what's inside my parentheses. So I'm going to say 8 thirds times 9. I'm going to 
Rename this and say 3 is divisible by 3 one time. And 9 is divisible by 3 three times. So now I have 8 times 3, which is 24, is going to be inside my parentheses. So I'm going to sub in for my 24 here. So now I would have 1 fourth times 24 minus 3. Now, I know that I do my multiplication next. So I'll say 1 fourth of 24. So let's go ahead and solve that now. I'm going to solve that now. So 1 fourth times 24. Once again, I can say that 4 is divisible by 4 one time, and 24 is divisible by 4 six times. So I have that's equal to 6. And now, if I was to write underneath this, I would have this. We said 1 fourth times 24 is equal to 6. So now I have 6 minus 3. That's equal to 3. That will be our answer for that problem there. So this is the first part where we wrote our expression, and this is my solve. All right, let's take a look at number 11 here. So we're going to take a look at lesson 11, where it just asks us to use a tape diagram to solve. So when we have our tape diagram, we know we're going to have our tape diagram. It's going to look like that. Then we're going to look at a couple things. We have 2 in our numerator. 3 in our denominator, and we're multiplying that by 5. So we know we're going to have 2 thirds of 5. So off top, we know our whole is what? Hopefully you said 5. That's our whole. Then we're going to say, well, how many fractional parts are we going to partition our whole into? We know it's 3. So we have 3 parts in all. 2 lines give you 3 parts. Not perfect, but we'll take it. And then we said, well, how many are we looking for? And we're looking for two of those. So it's going to be, we're looking for two. I said, well, if I'm looking for two, before I can t determine how many two is, I need to determine how many one is. So we say one, two, three units equals five. So that means one unit equals five divided by three. So one unit is equal to five thirds which is also equal to, remember I can say, three-thirds will be one whole. I'm just, all I'm doing is taking this and using my number bond. I have three-thirds, then how many thirds do I have left? Four, five, two left. So you can see three-thirds plus two-thirds equals five-thirds, and five-thirds is also equal to one whole and two-thirds. So each unit would be one whole, one, two, three, and I have two thirds, two thirds, and two thirds. Two for six thirds would be equal to two holes. So I have my three holes, my three whole numbers here, plus my two holes for my fraction, my three fractions. All right. So that means that two units is equal to five thirds times two, which is ten thirds, which is also can be written as 10 divided by 3. That's going to be, well, how many times is it going in? 3 holes, and then I have 9, it will be 1 third remaining. So if you add these up, 1 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 2 thirds, you get 2 and 4 thirds, which is also equal to 3 and 1 third. All right? So that would be our answer, three and one third. In a classroom, one sixth of the students are wearing blue shirts, and two thirds are wearing white shirts. There are 36 students in the class. How many students are wearing a shirt other than blue or white? So let's take a look here. So we have blue shirt students. Let's go ahead and list this out. And we know that one sixth of the total, so the total is 36 students. So one sixth of 36, is equal to 1 6 times 36. And I'm going to cross cancel here. I'm going to say 6 is divisible by 6 one time, and 36 divided by 6 would be 6. So now I have 6 times 1 over 1, which is equal to 6. So I know that that's going to be equal to 6 students. And I did it in red, but we're talking about the blue shirts. So let's go back to blue. Blue shirts, going to be six students. 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. We're going to use orange bar white. So we're going to say white shirts, and we know it's going to be two thirds of. Let's go ahead and write that out. Two thirds of thirty-six, which is going to equal two times thirty-six over three. Once again, I can cross cancel. If you want to, you don't have to. You can say two times thirty-six. Let's do it that way. Let's go two times thirty-six, which is equal to six times two is twelve. Bring my one or repeat my one. Three times times two is six plus my one is seven. So I know I have seventy-two thirds. This is equal to seventy-two thirds. So now I say, well, seventy-two divided by three. That's going to be equal to two. Seven tens divided by three is two tens. Two tens times three is six. One ten remaining. Bring down my two. I know that's four. So I know my answer is going to be twenty-four students. I apologize for my handwriting. So twenty-four students had on white shirts. Now I know that my remaining is going to be whatever was left over. So I have twenty-four. Plus six. That's equal to thirty. So the difference between my thirty-six total and my thirty, I would just do my subtraction. Thirty-six minus thirty equals six. I know that it's going to be six students are wearing a shirt other than blue or white. Apologize on the handwriting again. I'm in the awkward position, but that's going to be your answer. The six, and if you put the six in there. It's going to be six plus six equals twelve. Twelve plus twenty-four equals thirty-six. It checks out. All right. Thank you. Remember, like and subscribe. Hopefully, this helps. If it does, just drop me a comment. Let me know so that I can keep giving you content that's helpful.